Sunday service, there should be miracles in every service. Well, I don't find that in my Bible. I don't find that. Miracles do take place, but I don't find that. But miracles do not, miracles are not evidence that God is a proven of your life. Miracles show that God is a good God, and that God is a miracle working God. But it doesn't tell me anything about you. And people that think, people that think that just because a person, there are miracles that follow a man's ministry, that that man is holy and righteous, they're going to be, they're going to be, they're going to end up being deceived or upset. There was, a, I heard a story once about a man, a pastor that invited this evangelist to come and preach in his church. Outstanding miracles took place in this meeting. Outstanding miracles. Blind eyes open, people could walk. There was outstanding miracles that took place. And a, a woman was telling the evangelist and said, but for me it was a nightmare. He said, because during the meeting, the, the, this young girl said, the evangelist took me by the hand and said that God has shown me that I'm to be like a father figure to you. But the way that he was looking at me with his eyes, like he was, like he was undressing me with his eyes. <laughs> and then, next day, the evangelist calls her out again, holds her by the hand, and said that God has t told me that you're going to be special to me. And then, the next, next day, because the woman had, had brought in all these prayer cards like everybody else with their dress on it, the, the evangelist phones her up at the house, two o'clock in the morning, and said, God has given me some words to you, and I want you to come to my hotel now. <laughs> So I can share that. Well, let me tell you, friends, any evangelist, anybody, phoning up a single, and this man was a married man, by the way, single man, phoning up a woman, two o'clock in the morning, has got no good intention. But actually, um, that man had quite a reputation for doing that, seducing women wherever he went. But you say, but the woman said, how can this be? He is a man of God. Look at the miracles. Look at the miracles that are flowing from the ministry. There was an evangelist called A. A. Allen. And tremendous ministries, miracles, followed his ministry. But he was an alcoholic. And, he, and towards the end of his ministry, he started drinking again. And he would often come on the pulpit drunk, acting like he was in the spirit. But he was in the spirit, but not that kind of spirit. Mm. And he, went, he, was a drunk, he was in a drunken state. And still, miracles followed his ministry. I mean, I, ha I, know one, I know one minister once who said to me, well, look, God has forgiven me because of my sins, because you can see that by the miracles that are following my ministry now. Hey, two weeks before he fell in the sin, miracles were still performed in his ministry on the Sunday. He said, well, I don't understand that. Well, I can explain why, why it is. Because God is a God of compassion. Amen. God is a God of cares. And God isn't going to let you suffer because the pastor is not living right. <laughs> That's true. He will heal you and touch you because God is a healer. It doesn't tell me anything about you. In fact, what the Bible says, if you want to, to know a false prophet... He said, by their fruit, not by their miracles, not by their prophecy, not by how many people they healed, not by how many blind eyes are open, but by their fruit, you will know them. I don't care how much, I don't care how many miracles follow a man's ministry. If he's not talking right, if he's not living right, then he's not right. And we have to... We cannot reject fruit. Now, I'm going to show from the Bible that a counterfeit ministry, a counterfeit pastor, 
can still have genuine miracles. I'm going to show that from the Bible. And I'm going to prove to you that miracles can be genuine, the man can be false. And just because a person is performing genuine miracles, it doesn't mean that what they are teaching is right. There is one man that comes to England every year. He goes to the Royal Albert Hall and other places, he has 5,000 people, and people are healed, and thank God for people are healed. But that man was teaching that there were nine in the Godhead. And he made false prophecies, said that Castro would be over the homosexual community would be destroyed in America by 1996 at the latest. Well, this is 2010, and there are still homosexuals in America. They said that Castro would be overthrown in the 90s. He was still there at the beginning of the 21st century. He said that Jesus would appear on the platform when he went to Uganda to preach and bring back footage of Jesus, but it didn't happen. I won't name the person, but could be going out on. But these are so. Can, but the miracles there are genuine, and many of the miracles are genuine. But it doesn't prove that. You see, if you want to, if you want to find out if what I'm teaching is true, you don't go by how many miracles are performed. You take, you go by the Bible. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for that doctrine. The way to judge but if what I'm saying is true is to go by the Bible, not by miracles. And I believe in miracles, but miracles do not tell you what you are. Because you're not a miracle worker, he is. Mm -hmm. He's the one who does the healing, he's the one who does the mi miracles. And um, let, me, let me explain it this way. Um, Joyce, last Friday, got a letter saying that she was allowed to stay in the country. Now, Joyce didn't run out and grab the postman and give him a big kiss and think, oh, what a wonderful, what a wonderful postman he is. He has allowed me to stay in the country. No, the postman was only the messenger. When somebody is healed in a meeting and miracles take place, it doesn't show... If you get a letter in your door and it's got 10 to 20 pounds in it, it doesn't show... It doesn't mean the postman is generous. It means the person that gave it. The postman was only the instrument that God used to bring it. And so the vessel that brings... it. So when it comes to healing and miracles, it doesn't show how good we are. It just shows how good God is and we might be the instrument. And the Bible says that God confirms the word, not the man. He confirms the word with signs and wonders. And I can be standing up here living in adultery. And I can quote from the scripture, it says, Thou shalt not commit adultery. And regardless of what I am, that's still true. That's why Jesus said about the Pharisees, do what they say, but don't follow their deeds. So let's take a look at some people in the Bible that had a genuine anointing. 1 Samuel 16, 14. We read about Saul. It says, The Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and the evil spirit of the Lord troubled him. Let's go, let's go on to 1 Samuel 18 then 10. 1 Samuel 18 10. And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from God came upon Saul and he prophesied in the midst of the house. Notice it, it, notice it, it came to pass that an evil spirit of the Lord, God, came upon Saul and he prophesied in the midst of the house. And David played with his hand and at other times. So let's go on to 1 Samuel 19, verse 23. So here we, have, here we have Saul. Saul was a man that was anointed of God. But he was out to kill David. 
he had murder in his heart.